whether you go into the Caribbean, whether you go into Africa, whether you go to Israel, whether you go into Russia, whether you go to Eastern Europe, every army on earth now is armed to the teeth, ready and waiting for the conflagration, which, pray God, may never come. But that was the state of the world. Where, therefore, a warrior dynasty appears with the great helmet, the warrior dynasty appears among the Olmec, carrying all of these elements. You find that apart from the stone heads which we have seen, we see cultural traits which I have mentioned, and then we go on to see, as I have also mentioned, that when the Olmec move out of Leventa and they send elite, parts of the elite out at Tlatilco, at Cerro de las Misas, and at Monte Alban, when they study the skeletal evidence right in this territory at Monte Alban, when they go to the graves in this very part of Mexico, in Oaxaca, when they go to the graves of Monte Alban and they look at the ruling class, not the common people, the common people have nothing to do with it, the common people are Zapotec, later they're Mixtec, etc. But the ruling class, when they go into the graveyards, 4.5% of the ruling class here at Monte Alban is African. As much as 13.5% at Tlatilco is African. They're not in the common graves. And you can tell because side by side with the native, you're finding a different nose bridge, which remains in skeletal evidence. There's a ridge. There is a nasal index. There is a brow ridge. There are structures of the jaw. There are lengths of the arm. The African arm is different from the Asiatic arm. The, the lengths, the, the proportional, the proportions of the body are different. You find not only skulls, but extended skeletons for study at Latilco. And Berzinski making allowance for all the blending and mixing of things still comes out with the conservative estimate of 13.5. We even have graves where you have an African male lying beside a Native American female, indicating that you already you are having mixings and meltings into different kind of population in some places. And when the all mix stretched out, when we went to Tihotihuacan, that is the evening, that is quite late. Tihotihuacan is around the birth of Christ. This is long after the morning of the Olmec. But there again you see the Olmec. You see the jaguar at Tihotihuacan. And you see the jaguar undergoing a strange transition where the plume serpent is becoming the powerful thing in Mexico, which it was in Egypt. In America, the United States, the stars and stripes is our great emblem. In Egypt, it was the plume serpent. In Mexico, it is the plume serpent. Even today, the plume serpent is the stars and stripes of Mexico as it was the stars and stripes of ancient Egypt. Can all this be coincidence? Here at Teotihuacan, here they're building this enormous pyramid, and here all the major principles of the Egyptian pyramid are in evidence. The base is identical, identical. Some people had said it was one meter off, but now they find that the meter mistake is, is what they calculate for error in the reconstruction of the site. Because all those sites, that pyramid was buried under the ground. They did not see it. Many of these things that we are seeing today were not visible in Mexico 30 years ago or 40 years ago. People only started digging those things up out under the earth. This was an all standing here looking at the Mexican. They had to find those things again. They found some levels and then they had to dig deeper and deeper and deeper. The story is still largely untold. Victor Damas has pointed out at Palenque, which was called Palque, that they have 400 temples in the jungles. They haven't started digging yet. They don't have the money. And as you know with archaeologists, they have their political reasons for digging. Look at Leventa. That's the most important site. Nobody can go to Leventa unless he is an archaeologist sent out by the government. The oil fields are there. They don't allow anybody to come into Leventa. That's on the big shroud. They're doing a lot of excavation. They're finding things. Not a word about what they're finding. 